What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Ally video, and Asus has dropped the new BIOS 339, and for the most part it looks like it just reverts our fans back to what we had with 337 before they changed them with 338. I made a video covering this prior when we got 338, and I was complaining that the thermals and performance was definitely a problem, especially at 30 watts, but I want to go back and take a look now with all three of those, 337, 338, and 339, in comparison here and see if we are back to what we had or something close. And indeed, you can see here 337 on the left, 338's in the middle, and 339 over on the right. And you can see by looking at this, we pretty much are back to the same performance we had. They've changed the fan curve and then changed it back to what it was because off the shelf, especially for the average consumer that might not make their own manual fan curves, this is the better option. You get better thermals, better performance, and it's overall just a little bit more stable. So I'm actually happy to see this for those of us that want to change the fan curves lower, have a little more thermals, but maybe you lay in bed at night with the wife or something and you want to bring those down, fine. But I think off the shelf, this is a better way to go to keep it in a little bit better shape when it comes to that performance and the temps. And you can see here for Ghost of Tsushima as well, coming back down to the 76C that we had before instead of the 79 it had gone up to when they gave us 338 there. And I'll go through a few more scenes here and we'll take a look at some more games as well. But I'm also gonna look at 30 watts when we get through here with the 25 also. But yeah, as you can see across the board here, I would say for the most part, we are just right back to the same performance. We're right back to basically the same thermals. I'm testing in the exact same room in the exact same way and the same temps that I ran all these other tests. So this should be pretty accurate and uh, good here for showing us this update. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, same thing here. We were averaging around 78 on 337. We went up to 81 when they dropped 338. And I was testing that out and then back down to the 78 here at the 25 watts and sometimes a little more stable. I noticed frame times with this BIOS. I'm not sure why, um, but being basically the same temps and back to the same performance, not all the time, but sometimes it seemed more stable than 337, but giving us back the normal thermal. So I did find that to be interesting as well and jumping over into call of duty again i've said this before not a benchmark i like to use for very many things i don't think it's very ac i just don't really like this benchmark but it does work for the temps because we had 78 79 on average before with 337 and with 338 we went up to about 81 uh 80 81 it would run there and then back down to the 78 79 with 339 and pretty typical similar performance and this is a stuttery benchmark anyway now switching over to 30 watts you'll see here same setup 337 we were around about 80 c there went up to 85 86 on 338 and now we're back down to 81 here on 339 and performance is a little bit better all in all these aren't the settings i would run cyberpunk at this was actually the steam deck preset i adjust this to run much better on these devices but just for showing consistency here running the same settings across the board here this is where we were at but yeah big difference when it comes to 30 watts and cyberpunk on those thermals a really big difference there and then ghost of tsushima here 80 to 81 typically before on 337 up to 80 45 at 338 and then now of course back down so pretty consistent when it's coming back down to that temp but you can see frame times in this game as well maybe it's game updates but i don't know it's very sporadic it does still seem a bit more stable like we kept some of the stability that i saw in 338 in 339 but also gained the thermals back because of those them reverting the fan curves maybe that's what we're seeing there mostly same with shadow of the tomb raider here you'll see about a five degree difference here when it comes to this one just like we did before and i'm happy to see this one back down and running decently again so yeah i think this is ultimately a pretty good decision to revert this i wish it would just kind of stop tinkering so much and find a happy place and work on some other things but at least uh, for me anyway i was happy to see him bring this back 30 watts on call of duty all the way up to 87 by the way on this benchmark before with 338 back down to the typical 8081 on the 337 339 here so a big difference there for call of duty again just like cyberpunk and uh, shadow of the tomb Raider. it makes a bigger difference on 30 watts versus the 25 but yeah you can see that throughout the video here 
But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's really all I needed to show just to give you an idea. We've basically reverted back, but potentially kept some of the increased frame time stability that we got for whatever the reason in 338. I never saw any patch notes that really explained it, um, but it did seem to do better. We're running on the same GPU driver and RAM uh, amount and all that. But yeah, anyways, there you go. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you glad that they reverted this back to run a little cooler and bring things back to what it was with 337? Or did you you prefer the other fan curves i think it's better this way and then we can always just change these down and modify on our own all right guys thanks a lot for coming and check out the video as always i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one